Hello student, this video is just to demonstrate how to write equation and define the glossaries for the symbols used in the mathematical expression in glossaries.tech file. Also in parallel, we will see how to add abbreviation definitions inside the same glossaries.tech file and use them in project report using the display command gls. Now let's try to mimic the look of this word document in latex. So as shown here, the formula represents the wavelength of an electromagnetic wave and assuming that all the three variables that are used inside the formula is used throughout the project report and we want this these three variables to be placed under the list of symbols page. So in order to do so, we have to define all these three variables inside this glossaries.tech file which would be currently located under the folder named as cover pages folder. In case if you are using the version 2.0 of project template. But this file will be moved to aux files folder in case if you are using the version 3.0 of your project of your project template. So depending on the version of project template that you are using, choose the appropriate directory to locate this glossaries.tech file. If you are unsure about the version that you are using the template from, then you can look into this main.tech file where you will find the command load gls entries along with the path. So as I'm currently using version 2.0, the path defines the location of this GLS of glossaries.tech file under this cover pages folder. So let me navigate to this particular location and under this cover pages folder, I have this glossaries.tech file. So one can open this uh, tech file in tech maker but personally i would prefer to open this tech file in a notepad so that i can use the project content tech file open in tech maker while the symbols and abbreviation definitions that are stored inside this glossaries.tech file being open in a notepad such that i would have both these programs being opened simultaneously. So, so as I've already opened this glossaries.tech file in a notepad, uh, you could see these uh, definitions which you would have already had in your uh, template. And in order to define the symbols of the formulas, we use this particular command named as new glossary entry command. And so since I just want to define three symbols inside this glossaries.tech file, I will try to duplicate this command twice in order to define each of these variables that are used for the wavelength of an electromagnetic wave. So now that let me try to define the symbol lambda. So the first parameter defines the reference name of this particular symbol. So let me define a reference name as something like a wavelength. And this wavelength is the name that I'll be using to reference this entire glossary entry. And after this, you could see that the name supposed to be the symbol that you are going to define. So in my case, the lambda could be defined with a symbol that is defined as lambda. So if in case if you are unsure about this symbol names, you can just open a Google page with all its symbol being defined in it. So the next comes the description where I want to define the symbols description as something like the wavelength of 
a like in a medium and finally the type should not be changed so please make sure that you are retaining the type as it is and let me move on to the second definition of the variable which is c so in this case let me define the label or the reference name as c as it is and in the case of the name i could define it as just c and under the description i want to define the c as the speed of light similarly i also want to define the frequency term so as something like freak and then i also want to define the letter f within this inline uh, string or inline equation environment and under the description i just define it as frequency of light in a medium yeah so ensure that whatever the variable or whatever the reference name that you have given here should be unique and it should not overlap with the uh, labels or overlap with the reference names that you would have used during your uh, figure label command or equation label command or any other command okay so ensure that this name that you have given here that is your reference name should be unique okay yeah so after doing all these things you have to remember to save this particular file so click on save button and let us try to copy these contents into a chapter 1 .tech file in our tech maker so let me just open this chapter 1 and let me choose some random location uh, yeah, so let me put it here and i just want to copy all the content from the word into this so i've just copied all the text and then i just want to define the equation environment so i use the shortcut key uh, which is control shift n so which brings the equation environment for us and then i need to define the formula so again in order to create the lambda symbol i have to use the command which is lambda and then equal and in order to create the ratio of c by f there is again a shortcut key which is control shift d sorry it is not control shift d but control shift f yeah so control shift f and then just place the c letter followed by f in the denominator and right now i just want to pull out all this symbol definitions that i have defined earlier in the glossaries.tech file so let me write the statement that i have here so and i just copy it and paste it here as it is and later i will just try to replace these symbols that i had already had defined in this word document with appropriate gls command so in the case of lambda i just replace that with gls with the reference name which supposed to be the wavelength okay so in case if you or unsure you can just go back and cross verify with the reference name that you have defined so just ensure that the reference name exactly matches to this gls and later for c again you could define it with this gls command and finally the frequency term for the symbol with the same gls with f yeah. okay so let us try to run this and before i do that i have to ensure that our main.tech file is 
defined as the master file. So let me define that as the master document and then let me go for quick build. So or I'll just change this to PDF Latex and then compile this particular main.tech file. So yeah, so we had uh, defined an entry uh, as tree, but I think the gls command that I have used inside this chapter one was just f. So I have to replace with that. Save this and then rerun this PDF latex. And this time, hopefully, you should not get any error. So now that we have not got any error, so just click on view and you could see that the GLS command that we have used has replaced the reference name into a symbol like lambda and frequency for F and the speed of light for C. Okay. But, but when you just look back into this list of symbols, you observe that these symbols are not yet been updated in, uh, under our list of symbols. So what you have to do is that you have to ensure that you have to run this make glossaries command which is being defined previously in, in the previous video. So ensure that you select that or you can use this shortcut key of alt shift f1 in order to run this make glossaries. So let me run this and after completing this run you have to switch back to pdf latex and then click on this band button. Yeah. So after compiling with this PDF latex to view our PDF, which is the updated PDF, you need to click on this view button. So let us sit, just go back and see whether the symbol definitions are being updated. So as you could see that all these symbol definitions are being updated over here. Okay. Yeah. So let me also bring some of the uh, abbreviations into account into this uh, document. So let me use some default something like the ECR, sorry, the ERC or electrical rule check. Let me define that. Okay. So I'm not just, I'm just going to add this command here. The, and then I have to use the reference name, the appropriate reference name of it, which is the small letter ERC. And then just type some random character just because nothing is there. I just want to see whether this particular character is being replaced with appropriate abbreviations. Yeah, so again, just click on this PDF latex. In case if you're using this quick bit, you can use that quick bit instead of changing this to PDF latex. It is not mandatory that you need to change it to PDF latex. You can go with it. So just click and you can be able to see that this ERC has been replaced with uh, electrical rule check along with the bracket ERC right so this is how it has been expanded but when you just go back and see for this abbreviation you would not find this abbreviation being updated onto this page so in order to make this abbreviation to appear so again what you have to do is to go to make glossaries and then click on this run button and after completing this run you have to switch back to PDF Latex or Quick Build and then rerun this PDF Latex again. Yeah. So now that to view the document on the right side, just click on this view PDF and just go back to 
abbreviations and you would see that this abbreviation of ERC is being updated under the abbreviations page. Okay. So hopefully this video would help you a lot. Thanks for watching.